Hello, welcome back. Ready to get to work? Okay, last time we left off, we were we were talking about these funny name files, file folders, and we were also going to talk about what kind of things you can delete, how you know to delete them, and then we're going to go ahead and hide the things that we don't want to always have visible to everyone who might somehow get access to our system. It's more of a secure way of operating, so. Um, also, if you're not used to operating that way, it uh, helps protect you from yourself. Sometimes that's a good thing. Anyway, you can review this video at your leisure, so I'm going to go ahead and jump right in, get past all this small talk. Now over here in the left pane is all your objects, and as we highlight folders and move through here, you'll notice that the right pane changes and it actually shows you what's in the focus of your left pane. Okay, these crazy name files, what are they? Well, it looks like they were created February 16th. As a matter of fact, when we look at the funny named here, it is the 16th. This is actually a, uh, a leftover piece of update and you'll notice we can't access it. That's because it came in as a system file and we don't necessarily have access to that. Let's go ahead and try and delete it just for fun. And I bet we can't, but we're going to give it a whirl. And as you can see, it's not going to let us. Well, you know what? That's a great topic for another lesson, but it's a little deeper than we want to go today. So we'll leave that just hanging there. But remember down here in the Windows directory we did see all these blue files. And they're all on the 16th and if you may recall that's when I actually set up this uh, virtual PC on my system and did all the downloads. And as you can see the um, status bar down here really does help when it comes time to uh, see a lot of information at a glance. It's actually going to reveal to us that right now we have 234 of these packages that we can get rid of. And when we right click on the group that we've highlighted, select properties, it'll show us that there's almost a full gigabyte of information being taken up on our on our hard drive just to have this thing laying around here. So we aren't going to leave that laying around much longer. Also notice that it's hidden. So for security purposes, normally you wouldn't see it because it's hidden status. I'm going to go ahead and deselect that and apply it. And we'll apply it to all the subfolders. That was a short nine minutes, wasn't it? OK. Now what's going to happen when we delete these? Well. As long as they're here on our physical drive and not on a network share, another topic for another another day, what's going to happen when we delete them, and we'll just do a few right now, and then I'll just right click and say delete, and notice over here in the recycle bin, it's empty right now. And whoosh, now we got stuff. And that's the stuff that we just got rid of. All right. I know we don't need it, so I'm going to go ahead and just empty it. There we go. Made a cute little noise. I don't know if you caught that. And now we'll just can proceed on through here. Now, on a lot of my systems, I have discontiguous dates here. So what I would do is actually hunt and peck by using the control key, which of course isn't working right now because it's a virtual machine or something. So we'll select these. Hit the delete key. Say get rid of them. Select these. Any aware we can stop and say delete. That was 157 items right there. Now we have only 26 left. Right click, delete. And again, here they are. So 
If you deleted something, the first place you're going to go look is in the recycle bin. That gives you an opportunity to pull it back if you need to. We don't need to pull any of these back. The machine's operating fine, so we can get rid of all that junk. So we'll say empty. Bingo! Now what about all these log files? Ah, look at that. They're all on the 16th. These are the log files that remain from the installation of the patches. And this is something else, but it's a log file so it can go away. Because the machine's running fine, I don't really need them. I'm not going to keep them laying around. So let's get them all at one swoop. Then we'll delete them. Yep. There's other logs mixed in there. But anyway, so that's how we go about getting rid of things. Now to hide the security th pieces that we want to, the, the system files we don't want everybody to see, you just go right back into that tools and the folders options. Come right down here to hide protected operating system files. Notice it's recommended. So we'll check that and then we'll say apply and you notice the background change and we'll say OK. When we go here, look, there's a whole lot less files, isn't there? We can still see in there and we can go take a look in our stuff and OK, we do see some of the hidden files, but not the critical ones. And that's about all I've got for you today. Take it easy. Feel free to play this a lot. And I'll see you at the next video.